Oz Harvest received a call one day to see if we could collect or rescue 3,000 litres of quality thickened cream. The next thought we had was what on earth would we do with 3,000 litres of cream? Hi, I'm Louise Tran. I'm the Oz Harvest spokesperson. I then called Pepe Sayer, knowing that he was, I guess, a genius when it comes to turning cream into something delicious. She said, I've got 3,000 litres of cream. You're the cream guy. You've got to come up with a solution for this cream, otherwise it's going to go into landfill. And I thought, wow, we could we can make it into bread and butter. Hi, I'm Peppy from Peppy Sayer Butter Company. So Peppy then got in touch with Michael from Brasserie Bread. And uh, I went, of course we can. We've got heaps of leftover bread, so no problem. And uh, that was the shortest conversation ever. And after I hung up, I went, um, how are we going to do this? Hi, I'm Michael Clausen uh, from Brasserie Bread. Hi, I'm Myrna Toek from Dessert Makers. And amazingly, they both agreed to take on this challenge. So today we've gathered 20 to 30 odd Oz Harvest volunteers to turn 3,000 litres of rescued thickened cream that would otherwise have gone to landfill into 15,000 serves of bread and butter pudding. So I'm looking after mixing the cream and flavouring the cream with the nutmeg and the vanilla and the sugar and then that gets given to Myrna. Over here we have all our Oz Harvest volunteers on our production line. Uh, we start with the raisins on the bottom of the tray and then we layer it with the soaked bread and then finish with raisins. And I had all the bread sliced last night so that was ready to dunk into the cream and soak it all up. We bake it for like 20 minutes in a very hot oven and out comes amazing puddings. Here we are. First one in. This product would have been landfill. For Even though it's good cream we're using, it's still fresh, it ends up as landfill. So if it wasn't for charities like Oz Harvest, this, this product would be landfill and the needy would not be getting it. So it would be food waste. You know, this is special, this means a lot. I mean, the people need to have availability for food and eat. And I know we're doing a, a kind of a treat today, but again, it shows the way that you basically make sure you don't throw food away you make sure it goes to the people that need it. This is a really good thing to be involved in and I highly recommend anyone to come out and um, volunteer for Oz Harvest for future events because they do such great work and help so many people. Every single day we're able to touch thousands and thousands of people through a single meal, a meal that they otherwise wouldn't have been able to afford um, or don't have access to. So it's very special what Oz Harvest does. This bread and butter pudding will be delivered today, going to hundreds of people from charities that, that Oz Harvest services. And 5,000 of these bread and butter puddings will be reserved for an event that we've got coming up in July called Feeding the 5,000, where we aim to feed 5,000 people at Sydney's Martin Place using rescued food and rescued ingredients.